Just days after his suspension as NLC Chair Mohamed Sozuri has written to the head of civil service Joseph Kinywa complaining of how he was mishandled by detectives from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Sozuri decries his suspension saying that the appointment of Abigail Magaya as acting chair is unconstitutional. He even goes ahead to blame her for allegedly orchestrating his arrest. Sozuri further questioned Magaya's integrity, claiming she was involved in underhand dealings at the commission. Sozuri is fighting even as lobby groups demanded for the sacking of all NLC commissioners. These public officers and a section of staff members have continued to breach their mandate and caused a mockery of the very constitution that breathed life to their existence as an institution. The groups dubbed land state and non-state actors have given the eight remaining commissioners a month to vacate their respective offices. We shall institute a public inquiry into the integrity of each commissioner who does not resign voluntarily in 30 days. The lobby groups threatening to table evidence linking the commissioners to fraud in the Lands Commission. Especially when it comes to the question of Mombasa cement lease renewal, the question of a Kakuzi Limited lease renewal, the question of a national housing cooperation, um, houses and location, and the question of um, Madudu Primary School in Mombasa. They are now calling on the DPP and the DCI to probe transactions of the National Lands Commission since 2013, claiming that the institution has been used to benefit few influential businessmen and politicians. With the lobby groups stating that they have sufficient evidence they are willing to share with the authorities to substantiate their claims, it now remains to be seen whether the remaining commissioners will be making their ways through the revolving doors of the Integrity Center in the ongoing war against graft. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.